Howdy partners, welcome back to our saloon bar, here in the old west. Up on an asteroid for some reason. Yes, this is the uh, Nova Kid Wild West Town from the previous episode, but in this episode, episode number eight, we're going to do something a bit different. A bit more, hopefully, relaxing rather than doing this thing clinging off the side of an asteroid. This time, we're going to, we're going to build something clinging off the bottom of an asteroid, um, which is completely different. <laughs> What I thought we'd do was all that all that steampunk furniture that I got in the last episode, which is kind of like this. Um, what I'll do is I'll build a little airship um, hanging off the bottom of our main asteroid, just kind of below here. Um, I know airships in space aren't the most logical thing physically, but I think because it, it's going to be right at the bottom of the asteroid field, so it'll be notionally in the atmosphere of the planet. So I'm just d building a little tunnel now. Um, I've got to be very careful here. Um, I'm, I'm going to try and take it a bit easier in this episode, because the last two episodes have been really good builds, but they have been a bit fraught and taken forever. Um, and I just want to do something that doesn't make me go bloody mad. Right, here we go, so let's um, put a couple of torches down. As usual, I'll clear this up later, probably off camera. Uh, okay, so, um, now what? Um, we are very much at risk of falling off to our deaths, but then isn't that always the case? Let's put that there. So I think I'll need a little bit of scaffolding at first. Huh. Well, I could just... Oh, God. This is going to be piss, isn't it? Um, so I thought, if it's going to be hanging off here, I'll actually make it that official and make it so it's hanging off with chains. So I build a kind of airship um, like this. A big oval airship. A zeppelin, if you will. And I'll have chains coming down from the ceiling, making it look like it's kind of hanging from it. As if it's docked, essentially. And below the airship... We'll have a kind of steampunk, what, I don't even know what they're called, a great big cabin thing. Uh, you've seen it on the Indiana Jones, you know what I mean. Although I think I'm going to have less Nazis in mine. Maybe as few as three, but we'll see. So I've also found um, a steam spring biome, and I've put a flag there so we can go... Oh no. <laughs> Sod it. Ugh. So in fact, let's just go there now. Sod it. Let's go, go, go to steam. There it is. So I haven't actually explored this yet, I've just set down a flag, the first one I could find. Here we go. And I just need to make sure that I get enough material. Um, just things like copper and platforms and stuff like that. Just so I don't have to construct a million things myself. Although I've got loads of copper, so that, that might help. Uh, don't really want these things. Although do I? Maybe I do. What do they actually give you? Or just oh, let's have a look. Copper gear block. Well, let's have a look at that. Uh, right. That might be good for platform, I guess. Uh, okay, well, I'll take some of this. Um, but I think I need to find more interesting stuff. Ooh, this is more like it. An actual house. Um, containing stuff that I can't pick up, because I'm bloody full again. I'm meant to have a clean out. Copper roofing. This is what we'll probably need. So, yeah, even more stuff. Also, boiler. Let's scan this, so we might be able to... Um, a boiler valve? Ah, whatever. Let's scan this. I might be able to replicate this with my pixel printer. Um, and also, now grab everything. Oh, this is going to be good. We're going to have such a good airship. I really should buy a teleporter. Um, let's do another futuristic one. Oh, they're quite cheap these days. I'm sure teleporters used to be more expensive. Oh, maybe not. So it doesn't really look like an airship at the moment, does it? I fully admit... Um, but yeah, okay, let's continue doing the scaffolding that we started a bit ago. Be a bit more careful this time. How big is this going to be? Well, if I stick to the original specs, but just make it a little bigger than that. And this is a nice flat-bottomed asteroid. With a great big dirty anus crack. <laughs> Ooh, the airship's going to be shit out. Now, if I stick to... If I stick to... One, this one full screen, I think that that'd be about right. Let's just take a bit off the end, just so we know, we know exactly what's going on. Probably don't need all that. Yeah, okay. We'll we'll say that's the limit. Uh, we'll take that away so I can still climb back up if I want to. Although I'm not quite sure why I would. Okay, so. Is this... It's going to be a white airship, I think. So I've got some white... What is this? Smooth metal. Huh, so is it going to be all... Hang on, let's have a look. See what this looks like. Um, that's solid and that's background what do i if i'm gonna put chains on this have i actually got any chains yes i have i've got 95 i'll have to craft some more 
And I'll put that there. I'm going to have to, if, to make it a visual effect, I'm going to have to put it in front. So I think the airship is going to have to be background. At least the balloon bit is anyway. And then I can put loads of chains on it. I also want to write the name of the airship on it, which I haven't quite decided yet. But let's face it, it's going to be Subby Cow again. <laughs> um, it's going to be, have to be curved and even on both sides. And we know how well my circles go. But thankfully this is going to be an oval, so it's not going to be too bad. Um, to work on the surface, I'll probably ha we'll have to make the outside edge um, solid. Mm, don't like that though. Well, let's, let's, let's see. I need to get a bit closer. So the point of it needs to be kind of let's put, get a bit even closer. It needs to kind of like go down to there-ish. That's not going to be very big, is it? Um, let's put in another line like this. This is really difficult, having to do things from above. So if, if I fall down, I'm dead, unless I can teleport in time. Um, is that big enough? It's not really curved correctly yet, is it? It's kind of like, it has it has to come to a kind of like a bit of a... Oh no, that's some, that's foreground. Buy wasted material. Like that, maybe. Down like that. Um, this is not going to be the main part of it. I mean, I don't really care hugely about the actual balloon part of it. I think balloon is a technical term. Oh, I've done it again. Um, I, I'm more interested in the steampunky stuff at the bottom, but this is obviously the important thing that I have to do before I go any further. Uh, I've got to be very careful. Right. Yeah, but let's just... Oh, I'm... <laughs> That's not a time to run out. Uh, well, fine. I'll use wood for now. I mean, it doesn't really matter what material I made this out of. I could write the words in foreground material, which will save me having to painstakingly write this out in background, and we have already covered up. Um, I'll have to make sure that the chains kind of avoid them, though. Otherwise, you know, it'll look even shitter. It's a bit of a dowdy grey, this, but I think once we've lit it up with, and written on it and chained it up, it'll all feel a bit more interesting. This is going to require so much bloody smooth metal. Um, I think I'll put on a... A kind of ruddery type thing here, which I suppose will be kind of a flat. I'm going to do it foreground. Do it as sort of like a flat thing. Um, just like that. So it just kind of looks like it's something or other. <laughs> that doesn't really look great. Um, that can go onto there. Ideally, I'd have sort of wires and things flapping about the place, but I think that might be a little beyond what Starbound's visuals are capable of. Also, my talent. Oh. Right, also needs to, at the front, I think it needs to be a bit pointier, so it's some aerodynamic. So we'll have a kind of nose, um, again, for... In fact, actually, I need to put on the... Um, I do kind of like need to put on the outside bit. So this is going to be solid from now on, which does mean that we won't be able to fall to our deaths anymore, which will be... What a shame that will be. Um, and across like that. Oh, God. Sod off. Right. And cross like that. So it has to be placed on the action. It can't place it outside it because it won't catch. Oh, no, no, no. Is there anything, uh, is there anything actually inside the balloon of an airship? It just occurred to me. I have no idea. I'm sure I've seen things where people go inside airships somehow. Oh, hello. I forgot you can go through, through things if you see me. Line of sight and all that. And right, there we go. Uh, that. Little mistake there. Go to that. And there we go. Now I can get rid of all this. And we have ourselves a balloon. Um, I think I'll leave this platform here because I'll need to do some stuff. I'm not quite sure how I'm going to get the chains to go through the foreground there. Do, 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 do. I'm using flesh <laughs> to write stuff. It's kind of blocking out the light, something rotten. I'm not 100% sure if you put... Uh, putting torches inside a hydrogen-rich atmosphere is the best way of going about things. Um, but, I don't know, maybe later on we'll sort out some some good lighting. So, so will this fit? Well, I'm going to run out of flesh, so I'm going to have to change to a different material pretty much now. And what can I use? I'm running out of anything colourful. Might have to be sand. Uh, yeah, I am completely changing colour halfway through, but never mind. Oh! Right. The bees, oh, the bees bugging as well. We'll make it look like it was done by a drunk sign writer. And because, let's face it, it basically has. 
Subby Cow 3. Oh, I've left no space at all for the Roman flat bit. I think linguists call the flat bit on the bottom of these things the flat bit. Ugh, I don't know. They're all dead now, so we can't ask them. They probably just called it the flat bit. Who knows? Right. Okay, so that's done that. It looks piss. <laughs> shush. But shush. Ugh. Oh, I'm stuck. No. Yeah. Okay, let's go and put the chains in. I think I might as well just beam out of here. So I think my original idea for these chains was to make this airship kind of whole or solid and when the chains would sort of graphically come in front of it and behind it sort of thing to make it look like it was completely hung. Um, a very well hung airship, etc, etc. But I think I've had a change of mind of that because this very much looks like an interior now and it feels like an interior. So I think I'll dial back on the chainy type stuff and just have it... So, just here, here and there on the airship, we'll just have it like that. And... There we go. In fact, I might as well just made these background. Oh! Damn it. <laughs> also, there's this awkward bit. In fact, after all that, I'm going to make the bottom bit background like that. Just so you can pass through it. Um, so, 3D-wise, it doesn't work, but never mind. Sorry, we'll just do it like this. Because I want you to be able to... Oh, this is going to take forever. Okay, um, I'll check with check in with you again in a few minutes. I'm definitely not happy with the writing on this. It just looks like some material that's just been bunged on there. So, I might... I mean, look at the... Oh. Anyway, the chains are okay. Graphically, the split that I've put on some of them doesn't look great either. Um, but again, I'm... Yeah. <laughs> Sod it. What I will do, I think, um with this bit is put in some background just so we can actually see oh there we go that's more like it there is something although i'd like to differentiate to make it look like it's made of a different material entirely and um, that seems like something i can do at another time um, because otherwise i think i'm just going to spend all my life doing this <laughs> um, so let's now go on to the next bit so carefully does it well that's quite pretty <laughs> careful careful down so, we need we need something. I think it's probably going to have to be copper. Um, we need something dangling down, holding the the thing in place. And by the thing, I mean the... Whatever the hell... The cabins. The floating... Well, the ship. That's the air, and that will be the ship, I guess. So, I mean, what what actually holds the ship, the cabin on, then? Um, as I say, I, I kind of like want some uh, copper material. It might have to be just these copper gear blocks, but... I don't think they look really good. Hmm. I might have to use chains again. I mean, what does this look like in the background? I don't know. That just doesn't really look... It looks too much like rock. Um, okay. Go back to chains then. I'm just going to have lots of chains dangling down, I guess. And maybe the odd cross beam or something. don't know, really. Um... Might be best to actually do the airship then. Uh, I'm gonna have to work out another. Oh god, this is too <laughs> this is too hard. Right, I'm gonna do copper roofing. Um, it's the closest I can find to copper brick. I don't think there's actually any just like copper normal stuff other than that bloody gear stuff. So okay, this might be a bit too far to the right. In fact, it's way too far to the right. Um, let's start it about. What I want is a kind of, I don't want it to just be like a uniform box. I want it to be kind of more um, like I'm picturing like a big fat ship. So it kind of like has a up in the air bit here and then goes across there. So I'll have a kind of multiple levels at near the back. I can't go too mad because this is going to have to be like rooms full of MP3s and things. Not MP3s, MPCs. <laughs> uh, um, I need to go a bit further down though. Um, just make careful, 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 careful. Uh, that one like that. Right. So I don't think it's going to go much further down than this. So let's have a, just have a go like that. Whee! <laughs> Slightly risky, but never mind. Oh, no, no, no. Right, sorry, that's going to be the end then. Um, uh, so there's kind of... Right. Yeah, that's it. Kind of, kind of the end just there. Oh. Right, so it's kind of... Let's make it a bit more kind of... Rounded, whatever. 
I'm not paying too much attention to getting everything very symmetrical in this, because uh, that will just take forever. Um, let's just make that a little bit better, though. Put that there. So this is kind of like we'll come down. We'll have maybe we should have a kind of like a, a make it an actual boat and have a kind of um go to an airship, a real airship that's in the game, and grab ourselves like a steering wheel and stuff like that. And that could be well, that could be the kind of upwards cabiny type thing here. Um, I think we'll I'm go with that. We'll make an uh, let's go across there. We'll make a ladder or a hatch coming down here. So this will be like room number one. Um, like that. There'll be a door there. So I can get rid of all that. Seems weird making this out of roofing, but it does the job. Um, and let's see. The, the bottom of this will be flat because it needs to land on places. So I can just do this. Um, I think that's as far as I want to go. Yeah. And then it'll be, this will be the front end again. Let's make it like this. Um, how big? Well, the ship has to be, again, it has to come to a kind of pointy thing, um, which will probably be outside the actual thing itself. But we want it to be kind of like this and have Leonardo DiCaprio hanging off the end for some reason. Um, I don't think we have any weapons. Uh, hang on. <laughs> Uh, give us a second. Just need to swap things around. Uh, <laughs> Finally. Um, where was I? Right, number three. There we go. Um, the lighting situation is a pain in the dick. Um, we'll do something about that. Um, so I think I'll just probably make that solid, this front bit. I don't think there's any percentage in trying to cram people into the end. Uh, make it go go like that. So then it kind of like probably goes along across like this. There might be some more stuff. There might be some... Oh, don't want that. That's completely wrong. There we go. There might be something up here as well, like another room. Maybe this isn't the room, because it, it seems strange that they'd be steering from the back. So if we have a kind of uh, cabin -y thing, like it can't be too high because otherwise it'll be banging its head on the airship. Um, it's across there and down like that. And it'll probably have a window or something. Okay, I can get rid of all this. So now we've actually got the body skeleton. Um, let's get rid of all this. And I kind of start putting the chains in. So, this is going to be risky. Oh, it's fine, it's fine. I, just, I still need a way of getting down from the top that isn't just falling off the edge. So... Maybe if we install a kind of door, I know it doesn't make a huge amount of sense, but if I install a little door, have I got, actually got any doors? Um, I've got one jo- oh, I've got loads of joy steel doors. Um, right. Where are we? Smooth metal. Platform. Like that, and like that, and like oh, that one there. Now I can put in a little dory poos. I really should make some way so you don't fall off the edge, but uh, who cares? Right, would be a good opportunity to get rid of all that. I can't get too far down. And there'll be a, there'll be some way, there'll be some manner of getting down other than just a gap at some point. But now we're going to start putting the chains in again. It's going to have to be just background, I think. And have plenty of them as well. This is getting... This is actually quite, quite cool. With the, the sun coming in in the background and the skeleton ship taking place. Um, I'm dividing it into rooms now. Um, I think what I'll do at the back here is slightly go back on what I was going to do. And make this into a kind of boiler room sort of thing. So if we have that kind of like that. This is going to be like a little storeroom at the very bottom. This can be the boiler room itself. Just try and make that a bit more sensible looking. Um, and let's see what boiler stuff I can put in. Um, where have I got? Oh, that's huge. <laughs> it does fit through the gap quite nicely. In fact, why not? Uh, <laughs> it'll save me having to worry about doors and things. Um, I'll also put that in like that. Oh, that's quite cool. <laughs> and there's also other stuff as well. Um, some more pipes. 
That doesn't quite fit. Um, I know. Hang on. Let's do this a little... Oh! Well, since I've now done that, I think I'll make the whole thing like that. Uh -huh. There. Now hopefully things will fit. Put that back. And um, we can put in... Oh, that doesn't quite fit there. Hmm. Oh well, what the hell. <laughs> um, let's get rid of that. Maybe I can fit something new in then. Yes, there we go. I've also got a, a second boiler. Ah, huh, whatever. <laughs> this is going to be a very steamy ship. Um, can I put this anywhere? Um, possibly up in the air. I have to go over there. There we go. Oh look, this is this is it. This is the very edge of space. So yes, it is actually in the atmosphere of the planet, just about. Sort of. <laughs> I need to start putting in background. Um, probably going to stick to the same colour. And um, yeah, why not? Okay, um, filled it all in, in the background. Looking rather smart, actually. This is the point in the build where it goes from looking utterly shit and beyond redemption to, okay, I guess, but better than utterly shit. Hooray! Um, okay, so these are going to be... I'm not quite sure how I'm going to do... I might have to do this by uh, via airlock, which I really don't like doing because it tends to look a bit like um, ass. I think is the technical term. Maybe I'll try it with some doors instead. Um, I can do that much, but this one is a little fiddly. Um, I won't be able to close this one up. Unless I kind of do some jiggery-pokery here. Um, how many are, are these too wide? They are, they're too wide. Hmm. Well, let's have a go. Let's... Yeah, I think I might have to sacrifice that um, bit of piping. For the, for the good of the airship. And I'm putting a door here. This means... There we go. This means technically this cabin here will also extend out into the boiler room. But I don't think anyone's going to complain. Well, they better not. Although the tickets for this are very expensive. <laughs> um, let's put in some platform, actually. Um, that would make a bit of sense. Otherwise they'd be falling out of the bottom of their cabin. That's the first one, class one. And this is the second class one. You can tell because this has got a shitter smaller way in and also it's just generally smaller the windows a bit offset but tough titty um, okay so some furniture first class cabin oh, we need to have got beds uh okay hang on this is gonna have to have a, another redesign i don't really want to have the doors that far god this is this is a bit of a pain in the arse no never mind okay I just want it to have. There we go. Let's make it. Let's make the the openings really small, just so I've got a bit more kind of space to put things on. Uh, what am I doing? There we go. So that's the way in now, and that's the way in there. Now we can put the beds in, and it makes a bit more sense. First class and second class have the same sorts of beds. We need. Let's have a. Can I put this on the wall? Oh, I can't. Uh, that's on it. Oh, I don't like that though, because I need to, I need some space for other stuff. But I will use that sort of light because it's a proper light. Um, what is this? Well, maybe I know what we'll do. Um, putting this in the background. Oh, they're spinning round. I'm sure they didn't do that before. Huh, oh well. Can I put that in? No, I can't. Not quite sure how. Oh, look, a desk. Ooh. That just looks weird. <laughs> uh, never mind. Um, I could do... Yeah, I'll put a wheel there. I mean, it makes no real sense. Uh, I might even put some support beams in. Probably won't have room, but... Simply because I like support beams. I mean, there's <laughs> literally no other purpose for them. Um, steampunk shelves. Oh, these are huge! Uh, well, I really need... I was going to put a wheel and stuff in there, but... Uh, <laughs> That's my considered response to that. Uh, we have a desk. Well, actually, I know what we'll do. We've got we've still got a saloon bar left over. So that can now be the, the common room. Which means I don't think I'll have that wheel there. Um, so just put, <laughs> put yet another one of these bloody pictures. Another mooshy picture up. Yeah. Oh, it's getting really dark now. Um, I really will have to put those lanterns in, I think. Uh, put that there. And that one 
there. I've got loads of these, haven't I? So let's put some more in. Let's put one kind of there. We'll have to have one in here as well. Oh, you can put it on the background. Oh, I must have just not been close before. I'm going to get rid of these things. <laughs> They're shit. And actually, whilst I'm here again, let's put in one of the globes. So the navigator knows where he's going. And a desk. We'll put the desk in... Yeah, we'll, we'll put the desk in here, but I'll have to shuffle things around a bit. What's not going to... Oh, there are fucking torches in the way. There we go. Oh, this is so fiddly. I really wish I made this bigger, but then it would have taken even longer to get everything sorted. There we go. Um, and I just need that lantern in, so I can put it on the wall there. Take that torch out. That is sort of the captain's office. And we'll call it that instead of the navigator's room. Um, in here we need... We don't need anything else in here. I don't think we can really fit much else in. Oh, another, another light source. Huh. Oh, well, these can go... These can go in the, um... In the corridor and the boiler room. And also this mysterious storeroom, which I haven't really done anything with yet. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll change the... I'll change that light. There we go. Ah, that's looking quite cool. And what else can I do? Um, got desks. I've got everything. I, I bought so much stuff. I'm um, only use like one of each. Uh, another painter. I've, I've got no room left. Um, I really could do with putting. I don't, I don't think I've got any more crates left in here. Otherwise, I'd put some crates. I could put a decorative fountain in. <laughs> I could put that on the top, on the actual outside deck. Um, a mysterious fountain. I don't think I can because of all the chains. Huh. Okay, well, that's actually looking reasonably cool. So I couldn't leave well enough alone, and I've actually extended things into the basement. Mainly because I remembered the fact that we actually need a teleporter. Otherwise, that whole teleporting thing was a bit pointless. Um, I've replaced the saloon bar with a bit more of a kind of like a viewing lounge type situation, which I think is a bit smarter. And, well, with a saloon bar, you'd have to have tables and things like that. So this just seemed to make a bit more sense. So I'm just going to just quickly furnish this and we'll be done. I'm going to that. Oh, bye, Block. Uh, it was nice knowing you. So, well, we've got two teleporters. I must have already had one. God damn it. Right, so... Um, what do we call it? Asteroid... I'm running out of um, bloody space for this. Um, airship. There we go. And we also need... A, so we, we kind of like need stuff here, but I think what I might do is quickly whip, whip this up into a another kind of room, I guess. Just a, a bedroom or something. Um... That's another teleporter. That's the final door I've got. Um, and then furnish it with love. Not love. Beds. Um, there's no, hardly any room again for anything. Uh, hmm. Need to go a bit closer. Hang on. Put that. Put that right up there. And what else do we have? Ah, the mushroom. The moosh. The mooshy, whatever it's called, can go up there. Um, anything else? There's not the, the the shape of this room just isn't doesn't really make a huge amount of sense. So let's just leave that. Um, I also need to put in that, so we know what time it is, which is three o'clock. <laughs> Apparently, um, that's rather sweet. So we, oh, tenants, we do actually need tenants. Oh, it's making a big ticky noise. That clock. Achievement unlocked. All walks of life. All right. Um, presume I don't know what that means. <laughs> I wonder if it means like I've, certain, I've got a certain amount of tenants, or maybe one of each kind of tenant, or maybe just like one of each race. Um, oh, bollocks, that's offset. Oh, I, never mind. Uh, another glitch. Um, and one there. And this is... Oh, yeah, another glitch. Um, this is going to be all one room. Uh, no, this is going to look tits. Uh, the door's there. Okay, here's what we'll do. Um, we'll piss off one of the tenants a bit by doing this, but never mind. There we go. Gives a bit of space to put in that. Yet another glitch. He can be the captain. Notionally, you're now the captain. <laughs> um, this can't... No, the, I can't... I could put one in there, I guess. I could put one final tenant in here. And we... We're definitely done once I've just done this. What the hell is that? That's an avian. Huh. 
Oh, because it's probably because there's no not enough furniture. Cool. Okay, so we've populated our airship. Um, fuck's sake. That's actually quite smart. I'm actually reasonably pleased with that. Uh, there's still a, yet again with these things. There's more I could do, and I probably will do off camera. But for now, it'll do. Frankly, the Subby Cow Three airship. Need to do something about that, don't I? Um, let's just. Where is it? We're running out of stuff. I'll just put a basic platform in for now. Um, I'll probably just not give a shit and just leave it like that forever. Um, maybe just one more thing. Maybe if we can find a figurehead to put on the just here. Um, really went out of stuff now. Really got buggered. Oh, fuck it. Just put a fountain. <laughs> there. Right. That's it. Okay, so that's, um, we'll pick this up again in episode 9, where we'll do something different again. So thanks for watching. Subscribe for future episodes of this and a lot more besides. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.